Arts. Javier Bonil Bonilla, Ecuador. Bonil is the pen name for Javier Bonilla, known as the pursued cartoonist. Bonil has repeatedly faced legal action, fines and smear campaigns from the government of his country, Ecuador. Ecuadorian President Correa has branded Bonil sick, cowardly and an ink assassin for his cartoons that have ruffled the feathers of Ecuador's political leaders for the past 30 years. Bonil is regarded as one of the wittiest and most fearless cartoonists in South America. Javier, better known as Bonil, is a cartoonist in Ecuador and a real reminder not only of the long and ongoing struggle in Ecuador for free speech and freedom of expression, but also the, the power of art and, and the pencil to puncture myths, expose individuals. Um, of course there's always risks involved in this, but it's such an important part of freedom of expression in a very important part of the world. Rory Panty Bliss O'Neill, Ireland. For more than 20 years, Rory O'Neill has performed as a comedy drag act under the name Panty Bliss. More recently, Panty Bliss became a national icon for gay rights activism in Ireland in a now infamous appearance on a Saturday night talk show on Ireland's RTE. Panty Bliss named several columnists as homophobic. He was instantly threatened with legal action. Undeterred, Panty appeared on stage after a show at Dublin's Abbey Theatre making a public speech that has since garnered hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. Rory O'Neill, otherwise known as Panty Bliss, is an outrageously talented, uh, risque performer who spent more than two decades performing as a drag artist in Ireland and tackling the question of homophobia when very few others would. Mouad Belchwat, Morocco. Mouad Belchwat, known as El Khached, which is roughly translated as The Enraged, is a Moroccan rapper whose lyrics speak of widespread poverty and endemic government corruption. Often called the public face of the 20th of February movement, a song from his band album Stop the Silence helped galvanize Moroccans against their government in mass protests that first began in February 2011. He has been imprisoned on spurious charges three times, most recently for four months in 2014. El Hakad continues to record and release music. Why I got this young person was because he has taken his music and he's translated it into some kind of online activism, but then crucially mobilised people in the street and been the face for a campaign where people gathered together to try and re-establish some of the principles of the so-called Arab Spring. So I thought he was doing something very profound and unusual. Songhoi Blues, Mali Songhoi Blues are a four-piece desert blues band made up of young musicians who fled northern Mali after a militant Islamic group captured the territory and implemented strict Sharia law, including the prohibition of secular music. Selling out venues across Bamako and now the world, with their first album recently released in the UK, Songhoi Blues uphold the importance of music in Mali and their lyrics call for an end to the conflict. To me, Songhoi Blues is like a glimpse of what happens when we have finally uh, achieved peace because people can sit together in the same room, enjoy the same music and realize there's so much more alike and they've been fighting their own brothers. <laughs> <laughs> 